Record? Hey everybody, welcome to Vermont Gaming Academy. I am Josh, this is... I'm Galloway. <laughs> and you can see he's our overhead tripod for tonight. I have arms. <laughs> tonight we are opening War of the Spark booster box. Yes! Of amazement. Very excited. So I'm going to roll the intro and then switch to the overhead Galloway cam. Yep. All right, everybody. Let's start digging into this pack. Maybe. Open oh, it. Always got to be smarter than the packaging. And there it is. 36 boosters. In. Wait, got to do that. Oh, Ooh, there so it is. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Yes. Yeah, get out of there, Gideon. Gideon's cool. <laughs> Not as cool as her. I mean, <laughs> maybe. I like Nessa. Nessa's the coolest. Well, you're you're partial to L. Yes, very much so. Me, I like the dark necrotic okay. magic there. That's always cool too. Plus that trailer. Oh my god, what about that trailer with her in it? Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, it That's was. the most emotional I've felt about a trailer in a long time. In a long time. And, uh, yeah, I, I watched that I don't know how many times, and I just picked that thing apart. Yeah. Watch it. Yeah, I lost track of how many times I watched that. <laughs> it was amazing. All right. And so the audio was... <sighs> might as well start with her. Yes. Here comes pack one! Oh, they made him tougher to open? No. It's <laughs> just me. Oh, goblins. Ooh, Gabo. Oxidon Sergeant, Transmutation, Croc, Operative, Centaur Nurturer, Iron Bully, Erratic Visionary, Enforcer Griffin, Lazotep Reaver, Jace's Triumph, Challenger Troll, and the Walker is Dove in Hand of Control. And what's the rare? Roll Reversal. Yeah. That's a good one. Lost to that last night in draft. Did you? Uh, so you guys do draft here when? Mondays? On Mondays, we draft. We draft every Monday. It's a lot of fun. Three packs. We usually get about six people, but we want to get up to a consistent eight, which would be amazing. We usually start at around 6.30, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it's 6. It's 6.30. It's 6.30. But we could, if people call ahead, we could change that. or We just want to get more players in. Or look at that primordial Ooh, worm. that's a cool looking worm. Relentless Advance, Forcer Griffin, Jaya's Greeting. See here, is that better? There we go. There we go. It's a little better. It's hard with the light sometimes. Yes. Cards. Chandra's Triumph. Hellion. Rally of Wings. I drafted two of those last night, those Rally of Wings. I misread the card and then ended up playing neither of them. <laughs> I'm like, why is this going around? Damari, Anarch of Bolas. Then I'm like, oh, it's because it only affects flyers. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Damri? Yeah. Sweet. That's the rare and the walker. Cool. He's a good card. Is there any other magic events that we that we uh, happen to do? We well on Mondays we draft. On t on Wednesdays we have bulk build and play. We dive through our bulk bins and then we build casual decks. Free entry to play casually, or if you like the deck at the end of the night, you can just buy it for five dollars. Otherwise, we put it on the shelf and a noob buys it, and it's a great way for them to get into the game. Mm -hmm. um, then on Thursdays we are starting to do standard showdown. Fridays is Friday Night Magic, and then Sundays we do Commander and Canadian Highlander. Now, while we're on events, Josh, can you hold the tripod for just one moment? Yep, just a moment. 
I got to show you something. I got a shiny. Nice. <laughs> we do have one big event coming up, and I got to go grab something to show it off. Uno momento, guys. Uno momento. Meanwhile, take a look at our Yu-Gi-Oh players all over there. Having a great time. Ha -ha. Nice and casual. And uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's Tuesday night. At Tuesday nights, um, casual. People start rolling in around 4. And then um, we have our every other Saturday tournament for Yu-Gi-Oh as well. There you go, guys. Yeah, plenty, of, plenty of stuff going on. Now, there's this. What is this, Galloway? That is a revised plateau, and it's in really good shape. It's in our case with a a um, label that says, Ask how to wi win me. Oh, there's two eyes and win. But either way, um, so on the 11th, May 11th, we're having our win a duel tournament. It's modern. And uh, I'm just looking at the upcoming events up there. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, it's a modern tournament, and it's going to be co a competitive event. And the grand prize is our Duel Land. So if you'd like a chance to win a plateau, come on in on the 11th, excuse me, and come on in and play some modern. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cool. Nice. Yes. All right. I will return overhead cam to... Back to cam. <laughs> All right. Pack number three. Four. 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 Pack four. All right. Number four. Have you been playing arena much? I have not been playing a lot of arena, but I have played enough to know I like it. Yeah, I'm just really busy these days. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I, I love to play, but the last couple of days I haven't been able to to sit down and play it myself. But I do love it. Charmed Stray. That's a kitty cat. Prison Realm. Not a bad card. Ooh. Loyal Companion. Are you? Loyal Companion. Oh, he's cute. He is cute. Then a Dovin's Veto. The walker is Sarkon the Masterless, and he's a rare. Nice. Cool. We should probably put all the rares and walkers in one spot. I should. That way we can have pan over to them and show people what we've opened so far. There's a Sarkon. Pretty cool. Put shinies there. And a shiny Temio's Epiphany. Collecting Chinese. A Feather the Redeemed. A Kazmina Enigmatic Mentor. I'm getting there, guys. Hold on. There we go. And there is Domri Anarch of Bolus. This is these are the rares and walkers and shinies we have opened so far. <laughs> All hail the shinies. Ah. Oh, there's Dovin. And a roll reversal. Cool. So that's what we got so far. Let's open a Gideon. All right, open a Gideon pack. God Pharaoh. Uh, I think we opened another pack with that on top, too. Really? Yeah. Wrangler. Ghost form. Unlikely aid. Aven Eternal. Sarkon's Catharsis. Bloom Hulk. Sahili Silverwing. Obnix Lissus Cruelty. Rubble Belt Riders. Flux Channeler. Eternal Taskmaster. And the rare is Soren Vengeful of the Blood Lord. All right. Cool. I like that one. Pack. I don't know what number. <laughs> let's see. Let's count the rares. One, two, three, four, five. This is pack six. Sacrifice. Naga Eternal. 
Raging Crunch. Ba Battlefield Promotion. Spark Reaper. I drafted two of those last night. They did okay. Uh, the deck was eh. They're fun. Band together. Gateway Plaza. I like the artwork on that. Yeah, Gateway Plaza is just such a good card. Rusted Pegasus. I'm sorry, Trusted Pegasus. Rusted Pegasus would be like an <laughs> artifact creature. Evolution Sage. Ooh, is that an elf? That is. Elf Druid. Oh, Landfall Proliferate. That's pretty good. Merfolk Skydiver. Eternal Taskmaster. Ooh, a Jace Wielder of Mysteries. And was that a shiny in the back? There was. Another oh! Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Oh, nice. That's a pretty good pack. That's a great hmm. pack. Yeah. Reminds me of a joke I was told. Why would you pull pass a Jace the Mind Sculptor in draft? <laughs> I took the foil one. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. All right. Uh, he did good on that round, so I'm going to open another one. Come on, do me right. Ooh, I like that owl. Sky Theater Strix. Owls are cool. Blind Blast. Soren's Thirst. Oh, am I holding the camera wrong? Oh, no, you're fine. Is this better? Just, okay. Force Landing. Try to find a decent angle for myself. Yeah, the lighting's weird. Yep. Yep. This is not my camera, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Chandra's Pyro Helix. Unlikely aid. I love the flavor text on this thing. You got Gideon riding atop Rakdos. No one will ever ride me again, Gideon. Expect no further favors, Rakdos. <laughs> oh, Wanderer's Strike. Not a bad card in Limited. Cruel Celebrant. One of the cards that I passed that I should have grabbed last night. Oh, I see, a oh, I see something there. really Did good. you see that? You I see saw that sneak peek? I saw her hiding. Uh, Grateful Apparition and... Ooh, oh there's God, Lily. There's Lily. You're that's, done. That's what I wanted. Is this the end of the video? That's it. <laughs> we can the rest of these packs. Oh, she's this beautiful. This is my dream girl right there. She is pretty. Yes, she is. Let's see what she does. Whenever a creature you control dies, draw a card. Oh, so it's a skull clamp. Um, let's see here. Only it affects all of them, not just the one you're equipping. Nice. Uh, um, plus one, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. Minus four, each player sacks two creatures. Oh, and that means you draw two cards. Then not, minus nine, each opponent chooses a permanent they control of each permanent type and sacks the rest. Pretty good. Phew, yeah. And that's our mythic. First mythic. Pool. First mythic of the pack. Oh, and we got an emblem. Ooh, I Nessa emblem. This Ooh, I like, I like there this. There you go. That's yours. It's for me? That's for you. Why, thank you. Thank you, Josh. For helping thank me out you. Today. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. All right. So we're going to open more packs, right? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> I mean, I'm very happy. <laughs> Money well spent right there. Dread Horde General. Let's see here. Mythic number two. Another Lily. Oh. <laughs> Don't tease me. No escape. Grim Initiate. Makeshift Battalion. I love how they bring back some of the old mechanics in this set. Mm -hmm. um, a bunch of the keyword abilities are... The, no, ability words, they're called. They're not actually named, but you know what they are. Like Battalion and, and Landfall. Another gateway. That makes three gateways yep. so far. Eternal Sky Lord. Loyal Mo Champion. Another Loyal Companion. Oh, there's Tybalt. I have a friend, and he hates Tybalt. <laughs> Ooh, Casualties of War. Ooh. Nice. That one's cool. Choose one or more. Boom, 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 <laughs> all boom, boom, boom. You can do all five. <gasps> Ooh, another shiny. There's our second, sh our third shiny. Enforce our Griffin. All right. Do, 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 do. Which one are we feel in? Let's see. I just pulled off of this pack. Let's jump over here. Come on, Liliana. Give me something good. New Lily. All the Lilianas. Okay. So much spirit. Sprint. Martyr for the cause. Naga Eternal. Goblin Assailant. Alright, got two of those. Crawl Stinger. Vampire Opportunist. Topple the statue. 
Giant growth. <laughs> Spell gorger weird. Tamio's epiphany. Challenger troll. Invade the city. Maybe that's what I lost to last mat uh, a couple weeks ago. Dovin. Yeah. Dovin hand of control number two. See, first one, second, second one. one. There it is. And the elder spell. It's pretty cool. Destroy any number of target planeswalkers. Choose a planeswalker you control. Put two loyalty counters on it for each planeswalker destroyed this way. Oh, that's that is Liliana if you didn't know about that. Man, destroy. What's really cool about the Elder Spell is, you know, it'll... Your friend's running Super Friends, and you're sick of it. <laughs> Play that. <laughs> And what's nice is you don't actually have to control a Planeswalker to play it, because it's choose a Planeswalker, not target a Planeswalker. Right. That's great. All right, next pack. Stealth Mission. Stealth Mission. Honor the God Pharaoh. Rising Populace. Shriek Driver. Diver. Croc. Croc. Law Rune Enforcer. You're a crack. Defiant Strike. Mana Geode. Ooh. Thunder Drake. Ooh, I like that. It's an yeah. elemental Drake. It's pretty cool. Charm Stray. Prison Realm. Tyrant's Scorn. Ooh. Nice. It is nice. Oh, there's some Tyrant Smasher. Dun, dun, dun. She's pretty cool. Right. Oh, I Another know someone who was looking for him. Someone Ooh. came into the shop yesterday looking for him. He's really? a pretty good deck card. Trample. Oh God. Whenever he attacks, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the field tapped and attacking. Return that creature to your hand at the beginning of your next end step. So they dash. Pretty good. Um, when in Harg, the raised board dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it onto its owner's library. Third from the top. Pretty good for a god. Gotta love it. Gods like, to, gods like to return or be indestructible. And Ihark is no different. Excuse me. I keep belching because I drank a soda. <laughs> Pack number, I lost count. <laughs> Red zombie. Grim Initiate. Battalion. Contentious Plan. Courage and Crisis. Soren's Thirst. Shadow Fugue. What's it do? Oh, yeah. It's discard. Target player discards two and loses two. Life. Thunder Drake. The Drake. Beautiful. Catharsis of Sarkon. Vraska's Finisher. Pretty good card in Limited. Sahili Silverwing. Hmm. Paradise Druid. I need three of those myself. There you go, boss. Oh, are you sure? Uh, yes, Thank sir. Thank you. Yay. This is going to help out my elf deck. Yay. Fire Mind Vessel. Ooh, Fire Mind Vessel. Interesting. Nice. Had two mana of different colors. Cool. Oh, Jiang Yang Gu, Wild Crafter. Sweet. He's cool. Oh, it's Krenko. Oh. He's cool. Tin Street Kingpin. Love it. He's pretty cool. What's going on, buddy? Right over there. There's no escape, Galloway. No escape. No escape. No escape. No escape from what? <laughs> from from countering something, exiling it, and scrying one, I guess. No escape from that. Uh, ooh, actually, a skulker. Worm. Worms. Lazatep behemoth. Spark harvest. Drafted that last night, too. Did it, worked, you? it was pretty good. Arboreal grazer. Except for when I didn't get lands or creatures. <laughs> right. Then I couldn't play it. Divine, Divine arrow. arrow. Oh, that's a good one. Four damage to a target attacking oh. or blocking creature. Nice. Wall of runes. Wall of runes. Chandra's triumph. Bond of revival. Walker is the 
enigmatic mentor, Kazmina. She's pretty solid. Just controlling your opponent by saying your opponent's spells cast that target a spell. A, I'm sorry, target a creature or a walker you control costs two more to cast. Pretty good. Right? Yeah. Ooh, the Living Twister. That's really cool. Yeah, it is. You can dump a land card and pay two to Living Twister. deals two damage to any target. And then, you, or you can return a tapped land you control to its owner's hand for a single green. That's pretty good. So you shop, turn your stuff in your hands, discard lands to shock, and bounce lands from your battlefield to your hand. Pretty good. So I realize these might come out a little blurry, guys, but I'll bring my camera next time. I'll actually plan ahead. The giant, I love that artwork. She's really cool looking. Yeah, she is. Where did she come from? More importantly, are there any more like her? <laughs> <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> Invading Manticore. Yep. Dust Mantle Operative. Good <gasps> bear! 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 Take it. I've been excited for this card. Because it's a bear, and I'm building a bear deck, and also I'm going to put it in elves. I'm excited. This is Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Yay. That's number three. I need two more to finish my playset and the one for Commander. Thank you. Oh, that's a Tep Reaver. I like those Reavers. Nice. Cyclops Electromancer. D-Spark. Solid card. Intraplanner Beacon. Another good one. For super friends. Whenever you cast a Planeswalker spell, you gain one life. It can tap for a colorless, or you can tap a mana and tap it to add two mana of different colors to your mana pool, and then spend it only to cast walker spells. That's pretty good for super friends. And there's Tefiri, Time Raveler. Oh, he's a normal rare. Cool. Yeah. Pretty nice. And a planes. And the planes. Look at that stack. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this for a moment. Ah, hey, hey, bear. Bear, bear, bear. <laughs> Yay, thank you. You're welcome. Divine Arrow. Thundering Ceratox. Chase's Triumph. Challenger Troll. I saw Shiny Rescuer back there. Sphinx. Try not to oh, there's Karn. Oh, he's Karn. pretty good. I think he's like an $8 rare right now, last time I checked. Okay. May have gone up or down. I don't know. And, shiny. ooh, Centaur Nurturer. Nice. I like Centaurs. They're cool. They are pretty cool. Yeah, oh, they are. He's a Shiny. I could yes, that is a Shiny. shiny. Yep. All right, another pack. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, we have Crush Descent. Cyclops, Chain Whip. Teo's Light Shield. Teo! Toll, Toll of the Invasion. invasion. Davriel's Shadow of the Fuge. Wanderer's Strike. Relentless Advance. Enforcer Griffin. Jaya's Greeting. Mayhem Devil. Whenever a player sacks a permanent, Mayhem Devil deals one damage to any target. That's pretty solid for, like, you know, uh, what's its name? Uh, there's a commander that makes you your opponent sack things. Thraxamundar, he's great. Pledge of Unity. Oh, Vraska, Swarms and Minutes. She's cool. And the rare. Oh, yeah! Eternal God... Eternal Ronas? Ronas. Ronas. He, at least Zombie I'm pretty God. sure that's how he is pronounced. He's really good. I got him in one of my Japanese packs. And he's he's a a really good. Another mythic in this box. Let's see what he does. Go ahead. Death Touch. Oh, wait. I got another shiny. Oh, shiny. Price of Betrayal. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful art. But anyway, got Eternal Ronas. Death Touch. When he enters the battlefield, double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn. 
These creatures gain vigilance until end of turn. Wow. When he dies or is put on to end to exile from the battlefield, I, you may put him into its owner's library, third from the top. Solid card. So that is three mythics, two gods, and one walker. All right. Next pack. Stealth mission. Okay. Honor the God Pharaoh. Rising populace. No escape. Ward scale croc. Spark Reaper. Force Landon. Shriek Diver. Wall of Runes. Scry One. Spark Harvest. A Johnny's Ooh. Pride Mate. Ooh, that's cool. I like the art on this card. Yeah, now. that's great. I know someone who would like that card. I know someone too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bond of Insight. Oh, Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage. I think he's he's new to this set, I believe. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage deals two damage to them. So it's like a rack. Mm -hmm. And then minus one to make target player discard a card. Now, what is his starting loyalty of three? three. Not bad for a three drop. Bioessence Hydra. Trample. When it enters a battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each loyalty counter on walkers you control. Whenever one or more loyalty counters are put onto walkers you control, put that many counters on... Oh, wow. Great and proliferate. Put that many plus one, plus one counters on Bioessence Hydra. Right. And a swamp. That's a rare. Rares and walkers. So ma such a stack. <laughs> This is one of the best sets, I swear. I, just, I don't think I've ever pulled anything as awesome as what's coming out of these packs. Highly recommend picking up a box today. Martyr for the Cause. Contentious Plan. Blind Blast. Battlefield Promotion. Air the Fallen. Aid the Fallen. Return to na Nature. Charity Extractor. New Horizons. Prismite. Giant Growth. I'm so glad we have Giant Growth back in Standard. Right. Death Sprout. Uh, the foil one's actually worth like three bucks last time I checked. Nice. Let's, can we see what Death Sprout does again? Sure. So, destroy target creature, search your library for basic land, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Oh, so it's a path, only it's destroy instead of exile, and then you get the land, not your opponent. Sweet. And this is, this is triumph. triumph. Is that something you need, boss? I don't know. Let's see. Search your library for up to two basic force cards. If you control a Nessa, instead search for three. Reveal these cards, put them in. Ooh, I like it. Put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. I keep, like, you know, starting to react to a card halfway through reading it. <laughs> I get excited. It's pretty nice. Me too. Yeah? Cool. I don't think I'll be running it. Okay. I've got other elves that I want to run instead, but thank you for offering. Yeah. Obnix the Hate Twisted. Draft and foil one of him. He's pretty good. Unless... You know, you decide not to blow anything up, and then your opponent attacks for him and kills him first turn. But anyway, uh, the card draw ability is great. Oh, you are you are planning on drawing out your deck? Well, you can just take all that damage. Because whenever an opponent draws a card, Obnixilus the Hate Twisted deals one damage to that player. And then minus two is destroy target creature. Its controller draws two cards. Dealing more damage. Dealing more damage. Tomek dis Distinguished Advocist. Lands on the battlefield and land cards in graveyards can't be the targets of spells or abilities your opponents control. Um, he's a 2-3 He with flying, and also your opponents can't play land cards from graveyards. Solid. And the planes. Alright. Next. Next. Magic. Yup. Ooh. Dam breaker. Ooh, that's cool. Lost to that last night in draft, too. Did you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Adam was playing it pretty well. Enters the battlefield. Proliferate. Another Cyclops. Yep. Teo's Light Shield. Now we're Kaya's starting to see form. some duplicates. New Horizons. Iron Bully. Erratic Visionary. Enforcer Griffin. 
That's a Tep Reaper. Ooh, great. Demolish. Oh, Demolish is back in standard. Destroy target artifact or land. Mm -hmm. It's kind of expensive for what it is, but I like it. Ooh, the Sunblade Angel. It is a 6-drop with 3-3 three, three, Flying First Strike Vigilance Lifelink. Ooh, that's pretty good. In limited. Uh, Lazotep Plating. What is that one? Ooh, Ooh. and Grass. Captain of mm. Chaos. And then can creatures you control have Menace? For it costs 2 generic and 2 hybrid red-black mana. Creatures you control have Menace. With an amass 2 for minus 2. And he's a 5 loyalty. You wanted to see what that one Oh, yeah. This is an amass 1. Lazotep Plating. 2 drop instant. Amass 1. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a 0, zero black zombie army creature token first. Amass is a pretty cool mechanic. Mm -hmm. And uh, you and permanents you control gain hexproof until end of turn. Oh, that's nice. pretty good. I like how it makes you a mask before it gives things hexproof, because then you're, the thing you just got has hexproof this way. Right. And this is the land. Oh, I saw Jamie play this thing. It was pretty good. Khan's Bastion. It's a land. Taps for a generic mana. Or you can tap for and tap it to proliferate. <laughs> Attracts, it just got better. <laughs> I know you don't have a uniform. Yeah, I like hear about us also have a I think the Griffin was the secret air too. I hope another goblin and sailor almost have a place up. Another battalion. Summit Sprint. Shriek Diver. Snare Spinner. Hulk. Silver Wing. Ooh, Obnix is cruelty. Target creature gets minus five, minus five. Till end of turn. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. For a three drop? That's yeah. solid. <laughs> That's a solid removal. Yeah, especially because it, it just exiles it. Totally lost. Fibble Thip. Oh man, he's on the statue of Bolas. Oh man, he's not. It's not <laughs> safe up there. It's not a safe place to be, buddy. Law Rune Enforcer. Storm the Citadel. Dreadhorde Twins. Kaya, Bane of the Dead. She's pretty good. I drafted her last night as well. Nice. <laughs> Dreadhorde Invasion. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and amass one. It's a two-drop enchantment. And also, whenever a zombie token you control with power six or greater attacks, it gains lifelink until end of turn. That's pretty good. Can't go wrong with that You keep amassing. Angel token. Nice. Okay. Transportation. War creature. Various time, time twist. twist. Invader. Toll of the invasion. Carl Stinger. Behemoth, Croc, Epiphany, Bane Hound, Domri's Ambush, a red and a green for a sorcery, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control, then that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Nice. Tenth District Legionnaire, oh that thing's cool. It's a red white creature. For two mana, it has haste, and whenever you cast a spell that targets it, put a plus one plus one counter on 10th Le District Legionnaire, then scry one. So heroic. Huatl. Huatli. The sun's heart. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. So, uh, door on the siege tower on a walker. And you gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control for a minus three ability. Seven the starting loyalty. Not bad. The Fibble Thip the last! Fibble Thip! Two drop. When he enters the battlefield, you draw a card. If he entered from your library, or was cast from your library, draw two cards instead. <laughs> and when Fibble Thip becomes the target of a spell, shuffle him into its owner's library. So it gets lost in the library! <laughs> Island. It's circumventing because it says ignoring the answer. Oh my goodness. So many packs, so little time, right? Oh yeah. Maybe we should speed up the commons a bit. 
Yep, we can do that. Flip through the comments. <laughs> Red Folk Sky Skydiver. Flying. Eternal Skylord. Liliana's Triumph. Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. Ooh. Let's see. So she's the three drop. You may cast creature spells as though they had flash. Plus one until your next turn. Up to one target creature gains vigilance and reach. Minus two. Look at the top three cards of your library. Exile one face down and put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. For as long as it remains exiled, you may look at that card. And you may cast it if it's a creature. Nice. Forest. <laughs> Celebrant. Cool. Cruel, cruel celebrant. Bond of Flourishing. I like these bonds because they keep showing guilds teaming up with each other. In this case, it looks like Simic and Selenez Selesnia. I like it. Oh, uh, Arlen, Voice of the Pack. She gives buffs to wolves or werewolves. Each creature you control that's a wolf or a werewolf enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. Minus two, create a two, two green wolf creature token. You know, that's actually a three, three. Pretty good. And it's a seven drop. I'm sorry, six drop for a seven starting loyalty. Narset's Reversal. Copy target instant or sorcery spell, then return it to its owner's hand. You may choose new targets to the co for the copy. That's pretty good, especially if your opponent plays something cool. Yeah. That's kind of why you want it. Because <laughs> it doesn't counter. It just don't resolve because it's not on the stack anymore. Bond of Passion. Target Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. So, um, I'm trying to remember... Uh, What's that ca ability called again? Ah, why is my brain not functioning today? <laughs> not enough caffeine. Well, yeah, probably not. not um, but yeah, it's the Steel Creature ability. Bond of Passion deals two damage to any other target. Nice. And a shock. Heartwarming Redemption. Just dump your hand. Then draw that many cards plus one. You gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. And it's a four drop. Red, white. Narset, Parter of Veils. Oh, she's cool. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. She's a three drop. Minus two, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And she's a five starting loyalty. Pretty good. Oath of Kea. The oaths are really cool. When she enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to any target and you gain three life. Oh, so it's a lightning helix. Whenever an opponent attacks a walker, you control with more one or more creatures. Oath of Kea deals two damage to that creature, and you gain two life. That's pretty good. And a mountain. Augur of Bolas. Not a bad card. When he enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal an instant or sorcery card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. One, three, two drop. I like the reprint. Ugin's Conjurant. Enters the battlefield with X minus plus one plus one counters on it, and it's an X cost. If damage would be dealt to her while it has a plus one plus one counter on her, prevent that damage and remove that many plus one plus one counters from Ugin's Conjurant. Not bad. And there's a the Tybalt. Parhelion 2. Vehicle. Flying first strike vigilance for an 8 drop. And whenever it attacks, create two 4 4 white angel tokens. With flying and vigilance that are also attacking. Crew 455. Five. Not bad. And a mountain. Look at that. <laughs> look at it. I want all of you to look at it. Look at it. 
Evolution Sage. Landfall proliferate. Pretty good. Grateful Apparition. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player or a planeswalker, you proliferate. Two drop flyer. Sahili, Subline Artificer. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, create a 1 1 colorless servo artifact creature token. Three drop. Uh, minus two. Target artifact you control becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature you control until end of turn. Except it's still an artifact. And five. Five starting loyalty. And Massacre Girl. She's so cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. And planes. Planes is plain. Gleaming Overseer. Three drop. When it enters the battlefield, a mass one. Zombie tokens you control have hexproof and menace. Oh, that's that's solid. Yeah. Great for a zombie deck. Bolt blend. Bolt bend. Uh, four drop. This spell costs three less if you control a, a creature with power four or greater. Make it a one drop. Change the target of target spell or ability with a single target. Not bad. The Wanderer. Four drop. Prevent all co non combat damage that would be dealt to you and other permanents you control. Take that, burn. <laughs> um, minus two. Exile target creature with power four or greater. Nice. She just kills things. And Bolus' Citadel. Six drop. Legendary artifact. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play the top card of your library. If you cast a spell this way, pay your life equal to its converted mana cost rather than pay its mana cost. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> Tap, sack, 10 non-land permanents. Each opponent loses 10 life. That's really good. Really good. How many packs we got left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow. Almost there. This box is not bad. No, the Ronaz, really the Liliana, and the Boar are really helpful. I think those are the three Mythics we've hit so far. Maybe there's three more in there. I hope so. Or at least two. <laughs> Price of Betrayal. Remove up to five counters from target artifact, creature, walker, or opponent. That's pretty good. And then there are some that are running. Elite Guard Mage. Four drop. When it enters the battlefield, you gain three life and draw a card. Two, three with flying. Yeah. <laughs> now here is Storm of Stone. She's cool. Four drop. As long as it's your turn, creatures you control have first strike and equip, equip abilities you activate cost one less to activate. Now here is Storm of Stone. Deals X damage to target tapped creature for its X cost. And then it's a six. Starting loyalty. Pretty good. Ooh, Ooh God. Mythic. Eternal Oketra. Nice. Guy. Double strike. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 4-4 black zombie warrior creature token with vigilance. When it dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it onto its owner's library. Third from the top. 3-6. Pretty good. Just make zombies. And then a raging crouch foil. Four mythics so far. Two go Three gods and a walker. Wait, where'd Lily go? Oh, there she is. She's hiding. She's so, yeah. with the zombie god. Well, of course she is. She, it's a zombie. She likes zombies. So, yeah. Three gods and one walker so far for mythics. Pretty good. I've heard that a lot of boxes are coming out with um, the finales. And if you get one finale, you're likely going to get all five. Cool. Although people don't want the gods and not the finales. Yeah. Goblin Assault Team? That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So yeah, this is a pretty good box. At least I think it is. I'm not going to complain. This. Bear! Take it. Yes, thank you. Bear. I got excited. <laughs> D Spark. Such a good card. Two drop. XL target permanent with converted mana cost four or, or greater. 
Interplanar Beacon, whenever you... Oh, yeah, we went over this one. It's the uh, Super Friends land. Jaya, Venerated Fire Mage. She's not dead. If another... Well, maybe she is. I hope not. If another red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or a player, it deals that much damage plus one to that permanent or player instead. Hmm. Minus two. She deals two damage to any, she's any target. So minus two for a shock. And five starting loyalty. Five drop. Single combat. I drafted that. It was fun. So this one's really interesting. It's three generic and two white for a sorcery. Each player chooses a creature or planeswalker they control, then sacks the rest. Players can't cast creature or walker spells until the end of your next turn. So you can't cast stuff, and your opponent can't cast stuff for both the turn you play it, your opponent's next turn, and your next turn. So it's pretty good because it allows single combat. Foil Jiang Yangu! Not bad. And a forest. Wow, we got quite a page over here. <laughs> quite a nice layout. Yes. We're going to move Jaya, though, off of the Mythics. I have the Mythics are Mythics. Okay. Saratok, Runes, Rouse, Outburst. Okay, it's a four drop. Four. First of all, it, it lightning bolts something. Then look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into the graveyard. Cool. L Bold of Discipline. Oh, this one was good. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn for a five. Firemind Vessel enters the battlefield tapped for four. And then you can tap it to add two mana of different colors. Ah! That's not a bad card. I can see that being played in Commander. Ugin the Ineffable. So, he's a six drop. Starting loyalty of four. Colorless spells you cast cost two less to cast. Oh man. <laughs> I have a feeling that, um, oh, what's it called? That, uh, Tron might like that card. Let's see. It also is exile the top card of your library face down and look at it. Create a 2 2 colorless spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, you put the exiled card into your hand. Wow. That's, like, really cool. So it's pretty much a morph uh, for a plus one. And minus three is destroy target permanent. That's one or more colors. Ooh, soul diviner. Foil. Foil. Remove a counter. Draw a card. Nice. Too bad it's not from a player, though. That would be good against yeah. poison. <laughs> Invading Manticore. Hey! There are more of her. <laughs> Angrass Rampage. Emergence Zone. That one's cool. Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner. There we go. Blast Zone. Oh, man, this one's cool. So it's a land. It enters the battlefield with a charge counter on it. You can either tap for a mana, or you can pay X twice and to put X charge counters on it and tap it. And for three and tap, you sack the Blast Zone, destroy each non-land permanent with CMC equal to the number of charge counters on it. It's pretty good. <coughs> I like Blast Zone. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Especially if you charge it up a bit. Tyrant's Scorn. Choose one. Destroy target creature with CMC 3 or less. Or... Bounce target creature to its owner's hand for a blue and a black instant. That is solid. I'll take it. Eternal Taskmaster. It enters the battlefield tapped. Whenever it attacks, you may pay three. If you do, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Two, three, for two. Samut. Creatures you control have haste. Minus one. Target creature gets plus one, plus two, plus one, and gains haste until end of turn. Scry one. Starting loyalty five, four drop. Ooh. 
Commence the end game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's Thanos. Or maybe the Avengers, depending on what you think. Um, so this spell can't be countered. Draw two cards, then amass X, where X is the number of cards in your hand for six. Wow. Oh, the quote, even gods shall kneel. <laughs> Getting down to it, guys. We got four packs after this one. So five. One of which is being opened right as we speak. Let's see it. Ooh, there's another giant. See, you were asking for Told you there were more of her. Trying to keep an eye out for more bears. Me too. Because bears. Cyclops, Electromancer. Enter the battlefield. Deals X damage to target creature and opponent controls, where X is the number of instants and sorceries in your graveyard. Four, two, for five. Nice. Rescuer Sphinx. Four drop. Flyer. Enter the battlefield. You may return a non-land permanent you control to its owner's hand. If you do, it enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Not bad. Does it have flash? Uh, it does not have flash. Uh, if it had flash... I know. Jiang Yanggu, Wildcrafter. Oh, I got two regulars. And, and there's another blue. God Eternal Kefnet. Nice. There we go. Flying. Four drop. Zombie God, four five. You may reveal the first card you draw each turn as you draw it. Whenever you reveal an instant or sorcery card this way, copy that card, and you may cast the copy. That copy costs two less to cast. When God Eternal Kefnet dies or is put into the exile from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library third from the top. That is great. Nice. Now, you start cracking the next pack. I'm going to look up something on my phone while I hold this. Okay. I want to see something. Another druid! Thank you! You're welcome. Oh man, my elf deck is going to be great. Emergency <laughs> zone. Baraska swarm. Command the dead horde. Nope. <laughs> Two more packs after this. Two more to go. I'm going to save my baby for last. All right. I just confirmed what I thought. Now let's see if it happens. <laughs> Leading edge. Because I have a theory, and let's see what happens if it happens. Nice. Spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast at the beginning of your end step. Each opponent loses one life. Pretty good. Gotta love it. I see a foil back there. It's a little flashy flash. Gideon's triumph. Tamiya, Ooh, collector of tails. Dang. Four drop. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to discard cards or sack permanents. Oh, that's great. Plus one. Choose a non-land card name. Then reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all cards with the chosen name from among them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Minus three. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. And it's a five plus starting loyalty. Nice. Spark Harvest. That's cool. That is a beautiful foil. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait, why did you put her over there? I don't know. She needs to be over with the stack, with the big Girl, get where display. You belong. Yeah, she belongs there. Especially because she's a rare and a walker. Some let's sprint. All right. Ooh, Ambush. Not a bad card. Tenth District Legionnaire. Narset, Parter of Veils. 
And I knew it! God Eternal Bomb 2! <laughs> Alright, so, before we open the last pack, I just want to comment on this. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to comment on it after the, the last pack. At the very end, I'm going to comment on this. Awesome, sounds good. Ooh, I like the goblin tokens in this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that artwork. Oh, he's just looting everything. It's part of the lore. Like, yeah. Sorry, I have a goblin. Goblins yeah. are great. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love them. Don't want to interrupt. No, oh, no, of course. You're, you're fine, absolutely. Do you want me to put the camera on you so you can say something? All right, that's a no. Okay. <laughs> Let's jump right to... All right, here we go. To Bolt's Rager. Leyline Prowler. Pledge of Unity. Chandra, Chandra. Fire Ar Artisan. Not a bad rare. Let's see what she does. So she's a 4-drop. Whenever one or more loyalty counters are removed from Chandra Fighter Artisan, she deals that much damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. Oh, wow. So plus 1. Exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn. So there's no minus 1 ability except, um, but there's a minus 7. But the thing is, when you remove all those counters, that's going to be great. But when she takes damage, she's going to ha have counters removed. So she'll be just hitting people back for how much you hit her for. Mm -hmm. So Or minus 7, and she does 7 damage on top of this. Exile the top cards, 7 cards of your library. You may play them this turn. So, if she, so at that point, she, you take off all of her counters, do 7 damage to your opponent, and then burn them out with the rest of your, your new 7-card hand. That's great. Oh. And an island. I can't... I can't. All right. I'm like very so, happy with all these pulls. So, yes, and I want to tell you something more. Okay, so earlier in the video, I mentioned that I was talking to people and they were saying that when people are opening boxes, they are noticing more and more that you either that the cycles are staying together. So, I I almost want to say this confirms it, but I don't at the same time because things are weird. So, I was told that if you get one finale, you often get all five of them. But in this case, you got no finales. <laughs> you got all five gods. Um, if you're wondering why Hazred is gone, it is, isn't in here, is because she's not a card in the set, because she got away from Bolas during Amonkhet. Instead, we got Ilharg, the rave boar. Rave boar. <laughs> I mean, he, he'd like to rave, too, I'm sure. The rave boar. Um, <laughs> and he got Lily. So this was a good box. Five gods and Lily versus five finales and something else that I'm guessing others would be. So, are you happy with your box? I am very happy with my box. Oh, wait. That's that's, that's an extreme close-up. Hold on. You know what? Face cam it. There, there we go. go. <laughs> are you happy with your box? I am very happy with my Good. box. Good. I think that it's a great box, and I also have been thinking about this a bit, and... Due to how these boxes are set, it sounds like they could be very interesting draft formats. When I drafted last night, I didn't see any of the um, gods, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got five finales and I just didn't see them. Um, the other thing is we only had six players, so it was only like half a <laughs> box, but still. Right. Um, yeah, it was interesting, and having the full five cycle in these boxes would make a really interesting draft format. Mm -hmm. I like it. Absolutely. Cool. All right. So thumbs up. Yeah. Like. Whoop, this way. Yeah. Like. Subscribe. Come see us at Vermont Gaming Academy, located in the University Mall in beautiful South Burlington. We are located also right across from the Applebee's. Can't miss us. Uh, come on in. Stop in. We have a lot of fun. Don't we? Oh, yeah, we do. All right. In fact, we're going to get to painting right after this. No way. I know. I know I am. Oh, let, let me go get my stuff. Oh, let's get some painting doing. going. Going.